Those chocolate covered strawberries were the best thing I've ever had yeah, in my whole life. I thought you were sick. I didn't know they were so bomb. I'm, I'm, like, hungry. I'm hungry, guys. We should go get some food. You know what's right up? Get yeah. good pancakes. Pancakes. Oh, yeah. Let's yeah. go to Denny's. We should go to Denny's. Yeah. Denny's. Order room service. You guys should not drive right now. No, 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 room no, service no, is too no, expensive. No, no, she got the You guys should she not be driving. It's fine. I'm good. I'm not even drunk, you guys. I got this. You just gotta trust me. I'm fine, Michelle. I'm fine. No, don't worry. It's okay. We're fine. It's alright. I trust you. Oh, hungry. Hungry. I'm actually always hungry, so. Pancakes do sound really I'm good. So yeah. hungry. Yeah. Yeah. Really good. Hey guys, I haven't been drinking. I'm cleaning. I can drive us all right now. You okay. good? Yeah, I haven't been drinking. I'm ready. You have your car? Yeah, my car. We're good to go. Okay, let's go, oh, Daddy. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy. 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 Michelle, is she moving? Michelle! Oh Michelle! Wake up, Michelle! Michelle! Oh my god. There is a house built down the middle. And what is your emergency? Michelle, are you okay? Michelle! Michelle, are you okay? Michelle! Are you okay? Michelle! Are you okay? Okay, where are you? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Did you finish the next video of the gas station? People are gonna come. Michelle's not moving. Everywhere. Come on, over, please. Hey, look what you did. Lincoln 9 on scene, two vehicles fall off the road. Who's the driver? This vehicle. What's your name? Bonnie. Bonnie? Can you move with me? On scene, two vehicles upright, major damage. Stand by for an injury assessment. Both occupant, both vehicles are still occupied with occupants. Stand by for resource requests. I'll be second IC. What's going on? Is there anyone? Can you hear me? What you got, Adam? Got one unresponsive. I need this front door pop on the... She doesn't move at all. Alright. Fire 
Second Street IC. First critical is executed. Stage fire, Second Street IC. Second victim is extricated. Extrication's completed this time. inches off the ground and count to 10. Then you can put it back down. Can you understand? Okay. One, two, you can't do it. You want to try the other leg? No. Okay. Yeah, What's going on, guys? Um, she was in the car. Um, one fatality. The um, money strained. Yeah. Um, we have two. Yeah, we have put two large IV with some normal sealing going, one sealing. Yeah, why don't you get me two units of O negative blood and I think we need to start uh, CPR. I don't, I don't feel, I feel her pulse is okay. diminished. Okay, so you start CPR. Yep. Probably that internal bleeding as well as a significant head injury. Yeah, go ahead and give one round of epinephrine. The next test we're going to do is called a preliminary alcohol screening test, okay? I'm going to want you to blow in this machine. It's like blowing up a balloon, okay? You're going to hear a click. When you hear the click, then the test is over, okay? It suggests severe intracranial hemorrhage. Um, I don't think we're going to have success on this. Test. Okay, deep breath. Keep going. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Time of death, 11.40. Being placed under arrest. We're, we're driving right under the influence. We're just going to get something to eat. I understand. It's what I mean to. I understand. Okay. Passenger restrained. Um, he's motor oriented, complaining of pain to the chest, pain to the right side, uh, difficulty breathing. He also has a laceration to the, the right side of his face. Uh, okay, can you tell me where it hurts? <laughs> Just when I breathe. When you breathe, I see. Okay, okay a couple of nice deep breaths in and out. I don't hear much breath sound on the left side. So, 
I want a portable chest, and we're gonna go ahead and do a chest tube on him. Could you open your eyes for me? Okay, now follow my finger. Okay, Bailey, she's 17 year old female, was involved in a motor vehicle accident. Um, head on collision, major damage to the vehicle. Mm -hmm. uh, she was a middle passenger um, to the van. Mm -hmm. What hurts right now? Your head. Your head. How's, and your neck and your shoulder? Yeah. I want you to keep it completely still. And I'm going to feel the back of your neck here, okay? All right. Do you have pain when I press mm -hmm. back here? Yes. Okay. Do you have pain when I press here? A little bit on the right side. Look at my finger. Follow it. Okay. CT, she's going to need a CT head, CT facial bones, and a CT C spine. Um, at this point, I don't believe she needs an abdomen pelvis CT. And um, let's keep her on the backboard for now. Uh, your son was involved in an accident. Uh, he's the bird and knows what's going on. And what I found out so far was uh, he, he was ejected from the car and he has quite a bit of pain on this side. He, didn't, he couldn't breathe very well. I need to sit down. This is Officer Ayala from Venetia PD. Is this uh, Maria Bradley? Yes, it is. Hi, Maria. Um, you have a daughter, Autumn? Yes, I do. Okay, first off, she's okay. She's down here at the police department uh, with us. She's uh, been arrested for DUI. She was involved oh. in a traffic collision, oh. and uh, a couple of people have died as a result of that oh collision. Oh, my God. Sorry to have to give you that news over the phone, but uh, we wanted to notify you. Can I hear? Uh, yes, if you want to come down to the uh, police department, that uh, that would be fine. You know where we're at? Yes, I'll be right there. I can't believe this. We're just going to get some food, Mom. I can't believe you do this. I don't know what happened. How many times have we talked about this? I, I thought you understood. I mean, we've talked about this so many times about drinking and driving. I know. I'm sorry. I believed you would never be stupid enough to do something like this. I know, Mom. I'm sorry. Your life's never ever gonna be the same. No. You hurt a lot of people. I know I did. I didn't mean to. We were just going out to Denny's. We were just going to eat. I thought I was fine.
All right, good morning, everybody. We're going to call our arraignment calendar. We're going to start with the case of People versus Autumn Bradley. All right, Ms. Bradley, you are here on a felony arraignment. You have been charged with nine counts. Did you hire an attorney to represent you? No, Your Honor. No, okay. Then I'm going to appoint the Public Defender's Office to represent you. Becky Self from the Public Defender's Office accept appointment. Acknowledge receipt of the felony complaint. Plead not guilty to all counts. Deny any enhancements or allegations. And waive formal arraignment. Ms. McManigal, you're here for the people. Would you like to be heard on bail? Your Honor, the people have reviewed the statutory bail scheme and that would lead us to ask for $170,000. However, um, given the nature of this crime, the fact that two people were killed, that two other people were seriously injured, and that five other people were injured, we are asking for bail to be set at $300,000. Uh, the amount set for bail is excessive uh, at this point. Uh, Ms. Bradley is a resident of this county that the bail is not necessary to ensure she will be in court and she has strong ties to this community. All right, well the court also must consider protection of society and so we now have nine victims before me. I think uh, strain from schedule is appropriate. I agree with the prosecutor we should set this above schedule. However, I'm going to set bail in the amount of $500,000. The defendant's going to be remanded, held on that bail. We're going to assign this matter to Judge Garrett. Madam Clerk, can we have dates in Judge Garrett's court, please? Okay, the last date for prelim will be May 11th. So your readiness conference will be May 5th at 9 o'clock in Department 9 with the prelim of May 6th, 10 o'clock in Department 9. All right, defendants remanded, held in the bail that's been set, and that will conclude our matter for today. dad. Today I have taken the lives of two innocent, beautiful girls. I have severely injured two others, and I have scarred the lives of their friends and family, all for one bad decision to drink and drive. I am so sorry for the pain that I have caused, but I know my apology does not mean much. All it took was once, one dumb choice, one careless act. I have never thought this would be me. I never thought I would take the lives of my friends. But now I must live with the guilt and pain I have brought upon myself and the families of the lives I have wrongfully taken. Mom, you have always told me it isn't worth it and you're just a phone call away. You've always trusted me to make the right decision. Mom, today I made the wrong decision. Daddy, you have always been my hero, always there when I need you. You always have my back even when you know I'm wrong, doing everything in your power to make it right and bring me home. You can't make it right this time, Daddy. I'm not coming home. Big brother, I have always promised to call you. We have always promised each other not to drink and drive. Big brother, today I broke our promise. All it took was once, one dumb choice, one careless act. Now I must live every day of the rest of my life knowing the pain I have caused.